synced, linked, and we both stink. I was like, what, how are you gonna finish this? <laughs> I didn't know either, man. <laughs> you were like hoping I would come in with a third option. I was like, nah. Come on, dude. Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Jose, they say wisdom comes from suffering. So prepare to get wise. Welcome back to another movie reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. buds. Princess Diaries 2. We're finally doing a sequel. Yeah, I know it took us a little while to get here. Yeah, we will do the other sequels we have on the back burner eventually, I promise. But yeah, for now, we're just doing Princess Diaries 2. Neither of us have seen it. We really like the first one. We hope this one doesn't suck. True story. So once again, we want to say a big thank you to all the new members we've had coming in recently. And there's a link down below. Yeah, we've only got one tier at the moment. It's just a way for you guys to show us a little more support if you want to. And a big thank you as well to everyone who's subscribed to us. You guys are freaking awesome. And to you just for clicking on the video. Although your diplomas are equally specific, you are all going out into the world as individuals. I now proudly present... Aw, her mom's pregnant. ...this year's graduating class. Yay. Yay. Half of us are going to be unemployed. <laughs> Half? That's generous. Well, it's me, college graduate slash princess. Oh! Can't believe it's been five years. Louis. <laughs> Louis! Hey, John Reese Davies in this? That's cool. After that, my mother surprised me by marrying my high school teacher. It must be going well because they are now expecting a baby. I mean, good for them. You'd hope it's going well and it's not just like a band aid baby. <laughs> now, a student at Berkeley, which she calls Berserkly. Of course, she does. Yeah. How's Michael? We're just friends now. He went off to tour the country with his band. I mean, Devo. Good for Michael, I guess? Yeah. Welcome back to Genovia. Right. Oh, there it is, my beautiful Genovia. Yep, all of this one area here. Clarice will step down by the end of this year, and I'll be taking over since I'm now 21. There was no course in Queen or How to Run a Country 101. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, I wonder, will I ever be ready? Well, apparently, according to the premise of this movie, she'll be ready when she's married. Scary or what? Ah. Uh. Welcome home, princess. And her royal pussycat. Yeah. Sir Fat <laughs> Louis. Oh, Sir Fat Louis. <laughs> this evening is my 21st birthday party, and I have to dance with all the eligible bachelors in Genovia. Jesus. Is this a very small country? I mean, I hope so, or she's going to have fucking sore feet by the end of this. Maybe the criteria for eligible is just real high. Yeah. She'll have a double door entrance. I mean, she is a princess. True. True. The eagle is flying. She's in the foyer. These fucking chumps in the background here, they're not fucking getting in. No. I'm glad we got the main cast back. Yes, the important ones. Beautiful. But you're late, Your Majesty. A queen is never late. Everyone else is simply early. Queen of Genovia. <laughs> Genovia. So this one was also produced by Whitney Houston. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. Many of you will remember my granddaughter, Princess Mia. Someone's like, fucking Princess Who? <laughs> Presenting Her Royal Highness, Princess of Genovia. Man, what language do they even speak in this country? I don't know. It's just a Genovian? <laughs> Oh dear. Hey, that guy's got his shit together. He's used to her bullshit by now. It happens all the time. Oh. Yeah, see? They did the it happens all the time thing again. Don't worry guys, we're looking forward to Pretty Woman as well. Oh, I don't speak Greek. Speak English. You obviously don't speak English. How are you an eligible bachelor? One, two, three. This guy looks eligible as fuck. Oh yeah, eligible to break her toes. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, hold up. Is that Raven Simone? It is Prince Jacques' turn. This kid literally speaks in the third person. Yeah, I honestly thought he was referring to somebody else. What at all? If this were my party, we'd be kissing by now. Yeah, and there was that. Would you though? That's Prince Jacques. He wears aftershave to make people think that he's old. May I blow in your ear? No, dude. Can you reach it? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone from Parliament that you should meet. Hmm? Hey, this guy. Nice. What the fuck? Oh, Oh, Bruh. Yeah, that was totally his fault. Yeah, 100. I am so sorry, it was only an accident. It's fine, it's fine, Wait no up. harm. Why were you holding that thing so high? Why did you walk straight into her? You should be more careful, your royal highness. Somebody might try to take that away from you. Him, in other words. Fucking John Reese davies Someone like me. 
You know who he is, right? He looks familiar. You might know him as Gimli. Oh shit, Gimli! I know him from Sliders. Great show in the 90s. I'm Brigitte, if it pleases you. And I'm Brigitte, miss. A Brigitte and Brigitte? Okay. B1 and B2. Mm-hmm. Nah, please, you don't curtsy like that. How do you like it, then? Like this, maybe? The, what? Oh, no, don't. How about, don't. This. <laughs> no, no, no. They're just gonna do all of them? The queen bids you good morning, princess. They're just still going. Yep. I see you've met your lady's maid. They're just cycling so she can pick. Yeah, they're waiting for her to choose one. How do you turn off the curtsies? Back to your chores. Okay. Her majesty will meet you in one hour at the throne room. That shit would make me so uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Parliament of Genovia is in session. <laughs> oh, God, those wigs look so stupid. I know. By Count Mabry, you have the floor. Wherever that tradition came from needs to be ditched. The 21st birthday is indeed a matter of great public significance. <laughs> we are well aware of this, Viscount. The Queen has indicated that Princess Mia intends to learn more before assuming the throne. Yeah, you jerk. It was not Princess Mia to whom I was referring. What now? Okay. Pardon? Well, cool. This looks interesting. Is she gonna break more priceless antiquities? I fucking hope not. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not <laughs> weird. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's not super weird room. What the fuck? King Chevalier was the great grandfather of Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. Yeah, as if you were awake the whole time, buddy. Oh, there's more secret doors and shit. Okay. Of course. Holy shit, it's the back cave. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, given the religious room, I reckon we're finding out where the warrior nun started. Don't need to watch that one. I like it. It's not perfect, mm. but it's good. Oh, I really like the Lilith character for anyone out there watching Warrior Nun. As of the 20th of October last year, another Genovian became eligible to assume the throne. My nephew, Lord Devereux. Sounds like bullshit. My nephew's mother was my wife's sister. Huh? Oh, that's... That's how that works. Yeah. My nephew is ready to take his place as rightful king. Smack his shit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Isn't Princess Mia first in line? But not yet. Genovian law states that a princess must marry before she can take the throne. Oh, I see. That's some bullshit. We have never enforced that law. A man doesn't have to marry to be king. Yeah, but a man isn't on the line here. Yeah. And there's a bunch of men making this decision. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Maybe keep your mouth shut, Mia. You can tell they're related. Mm. Genovia shall have no queen, lest she be bound in matrimony. Princess Mia is not qualified because she's unmarried. Yeah, and of course the oldest, most sexist looking son of a bitch is the one enforcing this. That makes sense. I mean, hang on. Is the queen the only woman here? Well, Mia is too. Well, you know what I'm saying. Officially allowed to be here. Allow Princess Mia uh, one year. She must marry or forfeits the throne of Genovia to Lord Dutt. No. That is some bullshit. Obviously that's some garbage, but it makes sense. 30 days. 30 days. Jesus. Why does that asshole get the final say? Ooh. How could they expect me to fall in love in 30 days? It's like- Oh, they're actually going through with 30 days. It's like it's a big trick to get me to have an arranged marriage or- Holy shit. That's the thing they're doing. Jesus. That's it. There's no or. That arranged marriage is my only choice. Pretty much, yeah. What kind of person agrees to an arranged marriage? Hey, lots of people. There are various reasons. Yeah, look, there are different cultures. Really, bitch. And her, too. Well, you agreed to an arranged marriage. <laughs> there you go. And it turned out quite splendidly. He was my best friend. Hey, if it works, it works. Absolutely. As long as you have the option to back out if it doesn't. Yeah. I dream of love, not fondness. <laughs> Yeah. That's fair. But you don't have to do this, Mia. You don't have to become queen. That too. Yeah. This is so unfair. Of course, if you don't become queen, the alternative is not so good. Mm. Or it doesn't seem so good. Maybe we're wrong. Amelia, courage, courage is not the absence of fear. Rather the judgment that something else is more important. Damn straight. I remember really liking that speech from the first movie. Yeah. Thanks, ghost of dad's past. <laughs> yeah. There are 550 years of Rinaldi's on these walls. I will be up there next to my father. Oh, just get yourself a fine piece of ass. Yeah, I don't see why you can't just have a sham marriage. Yeah, exactly. You, my boy, should be our king. I agree. Oh, this is the guy? Fucking called it. Right, yeah, you did. I knew it. Good call. I'm gonna show you a trick that I learned from an old Italian philosopher, Niccolo Machiavelli. Oh, jeez, no. Machiavelli? Don't, don't learn from that one. I can make this dart hit the bullseye every time. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! That's not throwing darts, bro. Yes, but... Yeah, he's definitely Gimli. That is cheating. <laughs> 
You've got it. Ah, yeah, I see. I don't know if you've met Priscilla and Olivia, my lady's maid. I'm doing a background check on Olivia. Oh, <laughs> everybody in this room has high priority clearance. I don't know. She's pretty suspicious to me, though. Your Majesty. <laughs> I saw her stealing shit. Whoa. I would gladly take a bullet for you. Why are you leaning in so close, bro? Oh, how brave. <laughs> Back up. The limousine is at the gates, ma'am. I love that he's dressed exactly like him, too. Yeah, he's like, I know exactly who I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> Can't believe Parliament invited the guy who's trying to steal the throne. Oh, no, Parliament didn't invite him. I did. Oh. I offered to have him hung by his toes in our courtyard. <laughs> yeah, what about Joe's suggestion? Fuck yeah, Joseph. That's pretty brutal. If there's any mischief going on, I'd prefer it be right under my nose. Keeping your enemies closer and all that. Sure, I agree with her. It's not a very difficult job. You just have to open the door before the passenger dies of old age. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Hello, I'm here to welcome you. Your staff is incompetent <laughs> and unreliable. Yeah, this is what I was expecting from John. Good times. Oh boy. Rude, he's arrogant, self-centered. Have you met him? I... No. No. Oh. Yeah, but he probably <laughs> is, Grandma. Yeah, she has, though. Mm. Yeah, she has. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, he wants to be the king of Genovia. I... Does he want? Wants to be the king, or is that what his uncle wants? I'd also laugh my ass off if this was all just an in for him to get with her. Yeah. He was just like, you're cute. I'm gonna marry you. Yeah. Your Majesty. I mean, come on, like, who wouldn't want to marry Anne Hathaway? I don't know. May I introduce my nephew? Apparently, she got married to a con artist and didn't know it, so that's unfortunate for her. Nicholas. Oh, damn, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, so she married a dude, but apparently he was pulling like a long con and was like scamming a lot of people and shit. Holy shit. I guess it's essentially like real life catfishing because she knew what he looked like, but... It's catfishing of the soul. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a good way to put it. See, the pleasure is all mine. May I present my granddaughter, Mia? Your Highness? Looks like a fucking banker in that suit. Yeah. Mia? <laughs> Does Chris Pine look weirdly old to you right now? Yes, he does. It's the suit. Yeah. And the hair. He looks like a young 37. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm so clumsy, sorry! <laughs> An accident. That's hilarious. Of course. Good luck walking to the throne with a broken toe, you bastard! Yeah. She's training to be a flamenco dancer. That was beautiful, I love that. Would you care to explain? It's super rude, but you know. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Have met Lord Nicholas. Didn't know who he was. I flirted. As your queen, I absolutely cannot condone it. As a grandma, oh. I say, oh. right on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you'll come with me, I have something to show you. I think you could leave that right there. She could, but does she have to? Does she want to, though? Unfortunately, we asked Rupert's cousin to do the bathroom. Nepotism belongs in the arts, not in plumbing. Jesus. I mean, nepotism doesn't really belong anywhere, but okay. Yeah. This is your very own suite. This is very nice. Good. Yeah, a bit flowery for my taste. Yeah, well, I mean, I was kind of expecting that. I think he rather likes his new abode as well. Uh, actually, he probably gonna piss on everything. Probably. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. A fitting room. Lovely. Okay. Is that mine? Why don't you go and find out? Yeah. What do you think? Grandma? I'm here. Press combination 656. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wealth porn. Yep. We love to see it, don't we? I mean, I don't. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean more the collective we as like a species. <laughs> mm. Had a selection of the crown jewels brought out for you. Yours to borrow with great discretion <laughs> for the best surprise of all. I love that Louis is having a bigger role in this movie. Yeah, I appreciate that. Kind of a letdown after the jewels, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you... oh. oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's sweet. That's nice. Oh, like, I know a lot of people want stoked on her character, but... No, she was all right in the end. I thought she was good, yeah. I'm blonde! I'm blonde! I'm so glad to see you! She just had a few rough moments, man. Yeah, exactly. And she was, like, a teenager, so... Straight up. By the way, I'm getting married. To who? No idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Pine! Yes! I absolutely accept! Prince William? Nah, man. Prince William. <laughs> don't. Next. Too old. Too young. <laughs> 
Prince Jacques. Oh, Jesus, not this dude. Arrested too many times. Wait, no, we, we need someone titled. He's 35. Someone who can help you run a country. Oh, what my the God. Fuck? How are some of these people considered eligible? Why? Someone with compassion. Someone like him? Yes. Good choice, Mia. Yeah, that guy. Sure. Well, he looks decent. <laughs> Acceptable. He was an Olympic swimmer. Loves photography. Hang on. What is he wearing? And he's a pilot in the Royal Air Force. Oh, he's a pilot. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we are at the village of Merce. Perfect weather for their first public outing. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Christ. It must be rather hard to get to know each other this way. Yeah, it's gonna make it tough, huh? See, I just could not deal with that pressure. I know that's rich because I'm literally, like, putting myself online. Yeah. But I just can't deal with that. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Being followed around everywhere. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing is kind of cute, but when you're surrounded by everyone else here like this, it's just weird. Yeah, a little bit. Jesus Christ. This looks boring as fuck, bro. Rich people have so much money. Why do they do the most lame shit? I don't know. I, I got no idea. Fuck! Oh! No. I'm coming, princess. Oh! oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, lay it on thick. Yeah, that's not weird. Smitten, playing badminton. Hey, it was working. Yeah. Where's my kitten? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I do appreciate all the little extra moments of Louis. Oh, for sure. The hero of this movie. Now, considering we're getting to know absolutely nothing about this guy, I'm assuming he's not that important. <laughs> uh, he's probably not that important, or he turns out to be a bastard in the end. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, they're royals. They're all probably bastards to some extent. Point taken. And I have something for you. Oh, you don't have to get me anything. It's. Don't tell me it's a ring. That's not the time. Cool. You know, film. It's nice. It's weird as that. What's in the film canister? What's in it? You're way too excited. Why don't you open it? Oh, okay. Please don't tell me. It's not a ring. Can't. Oh, you oh son of a god, bitch. Oh my god, it's a ring. Jesus, dude. What the fuck? Talk about moving fast. It was my great grandmother's engagement ring. She and my great grandfather were married for 57 years. I felt it could be lucky for us, maybe. I guess he understands the stakes. Yeah, that is fair. I just. Oh my god. Do I have to put it on myself? No, I could do that. I guess everyone understands the rules here. He just taps her hand, like, yep, it's there. There you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fly to lovebirds. You ready? If you are. They got there real quick. Alrighty. Oh, does this mean that Mia's gonna go behind his back to flirt with Chris Pine? I'm gonna say so, yeah, probably. I know that I shouldn't be happy about that, but I am. Fair enough. Because Chris Pine. Well, see, I generally like the Pines, sir, but uh, I don't know if I'm feeling him so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Good save. Yeah, good save. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Yeah, we're just gonna take these off with us. Princess Mia has managed to find a husband within a week. Mia cannot be happy with the idea of an arranged marriage. Oh. Your task is to romance her. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Show her what a real relationship could be like, filled with heat and passion. Yeah, you're right. He looks so fucking old. He, I swear he looks somehow older than he looks now. Uh, yeah, I know. He looks younger in Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What? What happened? How? I don't know. <laughs> and you can tell he's younger here, but somehow he looks older. I know. It's the way they've dressed him and all that. I think it's the vibe, his attitude and stuff too. Yeah, that too. He seems quite mature. I guess, yeah. Throne is ours. And you're sure my father wanted this? His last words to me were, he could be king. I don't recall him ever mentioning that to me. You were only six years old when he died. This guy's totally making it up so he could just assume power himself, right? 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But you do remember who he named you after, don't you? Grandfather Nicholas. No, Niccolo Machiavelli. Oh, Jesus. Oh, seriously, we're on this again? Yeah. Power means never having to say you're sorry. Uh, I mean, there are times to be sorry, though. Yeah, when you fuck up predominantly. Your Highness. Shh. Andrew's playing just a cop. He won't be gone long. Why are we whispering? I'm hiding from my lady. Why? Because they're a lot. You can't just tell them what to do though? Yeah, you can just tell them to go away. Are you having second thoughts? And along came a fuckboy. Why did you have to be coming up whistling like that? You know why. He's trying to be all casual. It just seems so manipulative. Oh yeah. I was just admiring my ring. No, he really is so romantic. I really must go see to some wedding details. He's got two buttons undone and everything. Yep. This guy's ready to fucking play. I'm sorry, is there something you wanted to say to me? No. You are the one who stomped on me with your big feet. <laughs> big feet? Yeah, bro. What's going on here? Brigitte, I found her! Uh, I'm not here. What? It wasn't her. It was a ghost. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Well, you know, you danced with my big boot. Call the head, convene the war crimes tribunal. We only danced for about a minute. Uh, so we're doing a whole another like enemies to lovers type situation? Yes, yes we are. You didn't tell me you were trying to steal my crown. Please pardon me. Usually when I ask a woman to dance, I show her my family tree. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Do you want to know what else you were doing while you were doing your little lie dance? <laughs> lie dance. Yeah, that is exactly what it's a lie dance. dance. A dance of lies. Yeah, it seems pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Self <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lie dance is not the point. The what point. Why the fuck? The point is that I'm on to you. Oh boy, am I on to what you are trying to do? Then why are you getting up so close? There's a whole lot of room in this cupboard. Yeah, exactly. This is the intuition, your highness. No, you don't. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna spread like wildfire. Mm-hmm. You didn't need to pull him into that cupboard like that. I know, right? A closet or whatever. Could have just had a totally normal conversation in the open. The wedding invitations have been sent out. She's very set on it, you know. Clarice, my dear, forget the wedding for a moment. In less than a month, you will no longer be queen. Look. Oh. If you two can have a secret relationship, then Mia will be fine. Yeah. I feel like he's getting ready to pop the question. Oh, yes. Oh, I'd love that. I can do it, mate. And I will no longer be your head of security. I think it's time we bring our friendship out of the shadows. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Joseph. I, I would kneel if it weren't for my knee replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Joseph, there's a wedding to be planned. Yeah, let's make it two weddings. Mia needs to win over the people of Genovia. Hold up, are you giving him the runaround? Perhaps it's time to consider the duty you have to yourself. My darling, please think about it. Yeah. No, at least. Joe's good quality. I will. He is high fucking quality man. Yeah, we like this dude. Must learn to shoot a flaming arrow through a ceremonial ring. It's symbolic. Okay. She's gonna kill somebody. Ooh. Let's take a okay. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah. Oh. Archery's hard. Okay. Yeah, everyone needs to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I said everybody. I meant everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Why are we giving the woman with bad hand-eye coordination a bow and arrow? Jesus Christ. It seems like no one's safe. No. <laughs> Yes, eliminate him. He can't take the throne if he's dead. It was just an accident. I was learning archery. I'm just so clumsy. <laughs> I'm the... <laughs> okay, sorry. So, we are learning the art of the fan. Huh? It's a tremendous tool of communication. You can say things like, I'm feeling flirtatious. Come hither. Oh. oh. What? Oh. You can say, I never wish to speak to you again. <laughs> Go away. Seriously? I love this. This is just <laughs> drama lessons with grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sassing your grandma? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yes. We will have somebody come and visit your farm in the morning. Perhaps we can repair the well. This is for your table. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, you majesty. Yes. Thank you for so graciously bequeathing onto me the spoils and riches that you stole from my family to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> they just adore you. One has to be fair and very honest. You have to show the people you care. We will review your scholarship application. Merci, your majesty. So, somewhere French? I think it's one of those ones where they speak a bunch of different languages. Yeah. Princess Mia. Thank you for seeing me today. Thank you. It's interesting, like, so regular people can get an audience with the queen. She's my favorite. I hope you like omelets. May I? Is it an actual chicken? Be careful. <gasps> oh, it's a chicken. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Bro, yeah, what? She just said be careful. Why would you pick her up? Please. Yeah, there she goes. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you've handled a chicken before, sure, but I don't think she has. Has she handled anything? I don't know. They're very, very hard to catch. Yeah. Speedy little fox. Princess never chases a chicken. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's not a good look. Tomorrow, I review the royal guard. The whole court will be watching, and I have to be ladylike while riding side saddle. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Good times. I couldn't ride side saddle either. It is acutely uncomfortable. It would be. Herbie is my riding companion. I just don't think it's a good idea for her to try riding anything, much less a horse. Yeah. I don't think her getting on a horse is a good idea. What the fuck is that? It's 
a wooden leg. Yes! What the hell? What's up with the wooden leg? That is impressively sneaky, Grandma. Did you come up with this on your own? Oh. Oh, to pretend. Oh, no, it's a centuries-old idea. No shit. Drape your skirt over it. Nobody suspects a thing. Oh, that's genius. Okay, that's actually, yeah, pretty hilarious. Oh, I kind of love that. Princess Amelia reviews the royal guard of Genovia. But hold up, the, what happens when she needs to get off the horse? Yeah. Princess Mia's horse. Sandy gets easily spooked by snakes. Let's get it really spooked, shall we? Oh my god. Oh, it's a fake snake, okay. This is a fake snake. You're very observant, a regular David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of love how savage he is. Fake out Mabry's nephew. The chap who's trying to stage a palace coup. Nice to meet you. That's what I was looking forward to. Lily Moskowitz, best friend of future queen. I don't like you. <laughs> Pleasure. You gotta love the politeness for both of them. Lily, what an icon. Sandy, oh, oh. oh, Sandy, no. It's okay, princess, I'm here. Bruh. Oh, dear. Oh, Joe. No wonder she's so clumsy. She's got a wooden leg. Nice one, bro. Wow. So you're just laughing at someone for being an amputee now? Well, I mean, to be fair, he knows she's not an amputee. Oh, but that other lady didn't. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Yes, and here you see we dry the horses. <laughs> No clothesline. You shouldn't hide. It only makes them gossip more. What do you want? Now he's gonna show that he's really a good guy deep down. Mm. One more leg and you could have outrun your horse. I don't need this right now. Yeah, dude. Was that supposed to be charming? Sorry. I... No, you're not. You never think about anyone but yourself. Let me be miserable and just go away. Yeah, it is poor timing. Yeah. Princess, excuse me. The queen has arrived. Like, what are you trying to achieve, bro? Nicholas, am I going to be disappointed in you? Yes. Holy crap. Unfortunate incident. That. that is just devastating. Yeah. Ultimate, like, no, 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 no. You won't be disappointed. I promise I'll be good. I'll be good. I'm sorry, Papa. I mean, security. I'd like to speak with your uncle alone, Nicholas. Yeah, break his kneecaps. Do so. Give him a wooden leg. My job is to protect the crown, to step in when someone toys with the crown's emotions. The entire country understands how you cater for the crown's emotions. Ooh. Yeah, you think so, but no. Oh, dear. If you hurt my girl, you will answer directly to me. Remember, I have diplomatic immunity in 46 countries. Oh my god, yes. You will find that fear is not in my vocabulary. Well, it should be. Perhaps, but it's in your eyes. Oh, shit! Nice. Fucking told. You forgot something. Burns, my guy. Joseph is a fucking legend. Oh, I love that guy. I want to ask you a question. Of course, Your Majesty. Oh, he cooks. Why are you so against Mia being queen? Princess Mia doesn't know the people. And you feel you do? I was born here. I went to primary school here. I am a true Genovian. Are you, though? Mia didn't even know she was Genovian until high school, and she spent little time here since then. I happen to feel that she'll make a great ruler. She's terribly bright, sensitive, caring. Ooh, yum. Looks good. Does that make me hungry? I know. I haven't eaten yet. How can one rule the people if they do not know the people? Touche. That's a very good question. He does have a good point. Yeah, that's a fair point. I give it to him. I like that he didn't come up with some smarmy bullshit. Like, that was actually legit. Yeah, it was a reasonable train of thought. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, rich people are boring. I know. It's impressive. Oh, don't get me wrong. To be clear, the opera part is not the part that I'm having a problem with. It's the garden party bit. It's the small garden party. Everyone's sitting around. Like, come on guys, let's put that stolen wealth to good use. Can we at least get other bands or other artists as well? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, go son. Do it, mate. How are your grandchildren? They're wonderful. Thank you for remembering. How are you? How's your dachshund? Maury, right? He is fine. Oh my god, yeah. You remember him from last time? This would be the part that I would struggle with the most. Pretending like oh. I remember everyone. Fuck no, man. And their families? <sighs> Hopeless. You kidding me? I'm like, hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, what's up, guy? Hey, dude, how you been? Yeah. <laughs> Did you happen to see who's here? Yeah. Who? The king wannabe with Lady Alyssa. Oh. Oh, you're jealous now? Of course she is. Talk to him much. We acknowledge each other. They're really not setting this dude up well to be the primary romantic interest. I mean, let's be real. When do they ever? Sometimes. Let's go this way. They did a sick job setting up Joe as the romantic interest. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, that's fair. Joe and Clarice are great. Ah. 
Hello, uh... He's like, what's up, bro? Just discussing our latest achievement. <laughs> Why are you here? Nicholas, please. Why not brag? You're an amazing woman. <laughs> Andrew has a PhD in oh. anthropology from Oxford. Oh, are they gonna do this? Alyssa was in the Peace Corps. Oh, Stop. seriously? Oh, we're just trying to one-up each other? Andrew spent four months in Papua New Guinea... Guys. ...studying the bark of a yam tree. Oh, this is pathetic. Single-handedly Alyssa is actually trying to say something... You guys are blatantly talking to each other more than your partners. I have a feeling they're going to start a my horse is bigger than your horse <laughs> run. Yeah. What do you mean start? It's already begun. Yeah, they're halfway through. <laughs> the race is almost over. Mm-hmm. You two make such a lovely couple. We do, yes. It's a shame you're not attracted to them. I know. It yeah, Ooh. it is a shame. That's valid. That's generally something you want in a relationship. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty ideal. Yeah. Oh. Oh, check it out. They do have other stuff. There you go. I am very attracted to Andrew. Oh, well, obviously. We are perfect for each other. He understands me. What are you doing, dude? Desperately chasing this guy down to make sure he knows how much you care about this other guy. You are so jealous. Why would I be jealous of Andrew? He's got to spend the rest of his life married to you. Be aware of your own behavior. I loathe you. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god. I loathe you first. Okay, you know what? Mm. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. You know what, though? I will say this is quintessential 21 year old behavior. No, you're right. Mm. You're right. What, what you totally doing? accurate. What's wrong with you? You can't just go around kissing people. I mean, what do you mean you can't go around kissing people? Particularly not engaged really people. Enjoy. Well, not engaged people. Oh, yes. And also, stop chasing her around like this. I'm just trying to make me like you so that I won't marry Andrew so that you can have the crown off. You know what? They're perfect for each other. You stay away from me. <laughs> uh, here they go. Naturally. Guys, you could have seen that one coming, right? You know what? I have an idea. Why don't you go underwater and I'll count to a million? <laughs> Do I want to know? No. I don't think so. Nah, probs not, eh? I'll be two seconds, Mia. Yeah. See, Andrew and Alyssa should just get together. Yeah, that makes more sense. So just leave whatever the fuck is going on over there behind. Yeah. They should just go on a nice date. I have a feeling that might actually happen. I hope so. Olivia, enough goodbyes. Eagle is leaving. Eagle is leaving. Hushed. Why would you yell that? Did he add some extra frosted tips? They're just progressively more and more throughout the course of the film. Yeah. Till at the very end, he's just completely blonde. When are you going to start acting responsibly? Mm. Hiding with a man who is not your betrothed? I lost it. Other people lose it. We're supposed to find it. We're held to higher standards. That's a way to put it. Yeah, still wrong. Try to grasp that concept. Concept is grasped. The execution is a little elusive. Yeah. I want arguing with that. Understanding the theory and then getting it in practice are two different things. Oh, yes. Try to get some sleep. Good night. Good night, grandmother. Oh, we're pulling out the grandmothers. Okay. Just gibberish as she walks off. Yeah, I had subtitles for that and it was still weird. Yeah. It's just you and I. Or are you upset with me too? <laughs> yes. Norris isn't having any of this shit. He won't stand for it. Oh! Identify Mustang personnel. Why do you talk like that? It's kind of his job. What if we all talk like that? Lily Moskovitz riding in the stang. That was very nicely done, Miss Lily. <laughs> okay, that's funny. He does seem kind of old, but... Pleasure to meet you. Hi. The prettiest girl was riding in the stang. Oh, God, so we're setting this up too? Yeah, like, that was a funny, cute moment if it didn't go any further, but I feel like it's going to. May I offer you a flag? I'm not a waving aficionado, but I will wave our national flag. Okay. When a true Genovian king sits on the throne. My guy. And she's just like, okay, why are you telling me this though? Yeah, just openly going for it. Dude, I just hand out the flags, okay? Just calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So this is a McDonald's drive through <laughs> We're already late. Can't keep the people of Genovia waiting any longer. Happy Independence Day, Genovia! Okay, that's an interesting outfit. She's Scottish? Very Scottish, apparently. I don't know exactly why they have a Scottish reporter in Genovia covering this. Is Scotland, like, super interested in what happens in Genovia? I guess. And now the Queen with Princess Mia! She's doing the royal wave. They might as well have just called the whole place Europa. Hey, Thonsa! Aww. Hey. Stop the camera! What's going on? She stopped the parade. How rude. Yeah. Stop the carriage. I'm gonna go beat up some children. <laughs> yes. Just have this one kid to set straight. She's walking towards the children's shelter. She needs to have a quick word with some kids. Hello, everybody. She's just gonna punch this one dude in the face. What's your name? Carolina. Did I see you messing with Carolina? Mm. Yeah, you better run. Kissing children, hugging orphans. What a 
vulgar political trick. Bro. I mean, of course, you would see it that way. He would. Would you like to be a princess today? I can't. I'm too little. Too big a lot. So we're doing Italian now. Yeah, I'm having some questions about the random ethnicities thrown throughout this. Yeah. I declare anyone can be a princess today. And again, it's totally reasonable that it's very, very mixed. Sure. Why don't we get you a tiara and you can wave and march in the parade? Why don't you all take tiaras? You can't have anything. You want a silver one? A few European countries are like that. You won't be able to wave with your thumb in your mouth. I can wave with this hand. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Can we be in the parade? Oh. We could always use more princes in the world. Could we, though? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm good, personally. Yeah. To be a princess, you have to believe that you're a princess. Yeah. Smile and wave. Just have fun. Drum roll, please. Give the princess the drum roll! <laughs> 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 I like that guy. I know they're setting him up to be a weirdo, but I like him anyway. Ew, this is great. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, and then they brought this song into it. I don't know if I'm feeling the song. I don't rate this one personally. I feel like it got played way too much. I honestly barely recognize it, but it just in this context, it's, it's a bit much. And yeah, Joe is stoked. That makes sense. Yeah, of course he is. He's like, I taught her well. Because Joe is a fucking saint. Yeah. The children will be housed at the Winter Castle in the mountains of Libet. The use of the castle as a resort. It's not a resort. Oh, really? Is a perk for parliament members. Bro. Yeah, do you really need it? Not even a little bit. Well, I'm going to deep her it and convert it into a children's shelter. That makes sense. I feel guilty having two homes while they have none. Yeah. Yeah. Lord Crawley, how is your brother? I, I don't speak to my brother. Well, I've hired him to be the architect on the project. <laughs> 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 that is beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Mr. Crawley. Your Highness. Brother. <laughs> Jerry. Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The good twin. I look forward to getting your notes on these plans, but no one else's. Okay. I'll give you notes because oh, I'm no, part you of won't. I'm an out. <laughs> oh, that dude in the middle? Yeah. George, <laughs> out, George, out, George, out, Bail, bro. The queen approves of the plan and I intend to see it through. We're setting up the ramp in the ballroom. Okay. What are they doing? I don't know. Hello. Um, Rosencrantz Guildenstern, come with me. Okay. Oh my God. Now he looks even older with those fucking glasses. Yeah. Are you crashing my bridal? Shower? He legit looks like a middle-aged man. Sadly, no. So, where are your children? <laughs> no. You cannot neglect them like this. Have you called your babysitter? Yeah. Thank you. I'm having a slumber party. Huh? Oh, and is he invited? Congratulations on the uh, children's center. That's thank you, thank wonderful. you. The princesses are arriving. Oh, I should, well, I should go, go get changed. Yeah. yeah, you read your book, buddy. Mm. I will say with Chris Pine so far, even though he seemed a bit too stiff or whatever, I don't think he's been like a mad dick or anything. No. Nah. Princess Mia has invited princesses from all over the world to her slumber party. Braces. Yeah, I'm getting two diamonds put in. That must make him more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna regret that later. Mm. Is this my party? No, this is Princess Mia's party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's like, uh, I'm out, I'm out, I wanna leave. So I wanna thank you all very much for my bridal shower presents. It's time for mattress surfing! Ooh, fun. Cool. <laughs> See, this is the kind of shit that you should do if you're ridiculously rich. Yeah, but definitely set it up in some way that they're not gonna get hurt. Oh, they actually made yeah. a full slide. Cool. Yeah, they made a slide, yeah. Okay, that's cool. One thing I will say, I demand more Raven Simone in this movie. Yeah, I figure it's like if you're gonna have her here, would you not feature her a little bit more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go hard, guys. Good one, pantyhose. Princess Ami has to go potty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was really cute. Yeah, it is cute. <laughs> Get back to the party. She just thought to give everyone a bladder update. Yep. Love how the security's into it. I did it too, you know, but a little differently. I thought you never slide. I don't, but I've done a lot of flying in my time. Okay. Sure. Interesting. May I? Oh, fucking nice. <laughs> she just fucking cake flips the mattress. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Fucking okay. Can't you hear the bells are shouting? Thanks go to your shore. Man, they did not break tune at any point. No, they practiced that shit. Mm. To end our little show, 
If we all give her a shout out, Her Majesty may sing us a song. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do it. Queens rarely do karaoke. Oh. Is this karaoke though? No. No. Clarice, Clarice, Clarice. Get some classics, you know. Do it. Some girls are fair. Some are jolly and fit. A work of art's own rare design. She just falls out into to the window, to the wall. <laughs> but it's your heart of gold I love the best. I think I remember reading somewhere that Helen Mirren had perfect pitch. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah. Crowning glory. And when I say had for the record, perfect pitch is something apparently you lose with age. What did you do? I might have tweaked it a little bit, but I don't know how to do this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow Asana and, and sing! Hey, Raven's got you. We seem to have no fault. We never like those. No, we don't. Hill, you more lovely than others by heart. Prize your heart of gold the way I do your whole life. This is fun, but kind of odd. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's nice. But it feels a little bit unreal. Yeah, it's surreal is the word I would use. It's surreal, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do it. <laughs> nice. Oh, go hard, son. <laughs> and no one will ever know. <laughs> what are you saying? She's smart and she really cares about Genovia. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if she ran the country. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. She believes in Genovia so much that she's to marry someone that she knows she can never love. Maybe you could run the country together. I can't believe that I'm hearing this. After all the effort to end up with nothing, it wouldn't be nothing. Yeah, you get a good ruler. Mm -hmm. Genovia would be in good hands and she would be happy. You've fallen in love with her. And if he has, is that a bad thing? I mean, like, yeah, if he marries her, then... Do you not get your wish? Win-win situation. Yeah. What do you think will happen? She will leave Andrew and marry you? I put in the effort to make you a king, not to have you marry a queen. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, I see. Because he won't be the one in power? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Garbage. Mia doesn't care for me that way. But you care for her. I just want us to stop trying to sabotage her. All right, that's what you really want. Hey. Yeah, bull crap. I just want your happiness, my boy. Tell me you mean that. Lies. I know he does it, but fucking just, I want to believe that you mean that. Go to her. Congratulate her. Tell her that we surrender. You want to see the best in him? I do. Can't help it. Elsie Kenworthy, please. I feel like she's going to be important later. I feel like that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's hilarious. Yeah. That's enough flaming ones for now. Jesus. Holy fuck. You need to get better at this real quick because there's a lot of people in danger around you. Really? Yes. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, look at him with his sexy whistling. I've got to say, that's the one thing I'm really not getting behind is the whistling. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, hang on. Maybe it was the background music? Just tell me who I should show and I'll show. No, that was him. Ah, oh, okay. I just want to talk to Nicholas for a second. Seriously, just walking up creepily, whistling and shit. What are you trying to achieve? Why don't you go introduce Lily to your parents? Oh. We can have those tasty finger sandwiches together. Dear God, he looks like such a fuckboy. Yeah, he does. He's not the one she's marrying, is he? He's trying to steal the crown. Very openly. Yes. Take your stance. Oh, he's gonna guide her through it. No, no, don't do that. Oh, he's doing it. I'm so sick of the, I'm gonna show you how to do this by putting my hands on you trope. Let me just like press my body onto yours. Ooh, hands intertwining. No, see, he's doing it. Yeah, he's going for it. And breathe in. Oh, he's not that close. No, he's not fully going. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Yeah. How did that feel? Wonderful. It felt sincere and not like he was just trying to feel her up. Yeah. Which is always nice. Wonderful. Turn around. We should give them some privacy. Yes. Imagine there's just like a massive mirror in front of them. <laughs> They've just got their phones. Yeah. <laughs> Little pocket mirror. I have to go. I really only came back to pack my things. You're leaving? I think it's time I bowed out gracefully. Yes, it is. Do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bow out of the competition so you can bow into the marriage. Okay, so I don't mind this guy. I feel like they tried to set him up as being kind of a dick, but they didn't really do much about him actually being a dick. Maybe he was never meant to be that much of a dick to begin with. Well, they tried to do this sort of enemies to lovers thing, you know what I mean? Could I see you one more time before I go? Nicholas, I'm much like a hawk. Princess! See? <laughs> Yes? Nothing, I'm just supposed to watch you. You know, funnily enough, I actually thought she was gonna get with the security guy for some reason. Because he looks like the guy in the first movie. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, leave 
leave Louis alone, Maurice. Yeah. What the hell? Plus, that I'm pretty sure Louis's quicker, but still. Definitely, but oh, Louis. Yeah. Two and a half days left, Olivia. So stressed, he's gonna be emaciated, Louis, by the end of this. He's gonna have a heart attack or something. They asked you to approve a place setting for the reception, Your Majesty. Very well. Selections for the royal reception. Oh, is Joe gonna come in, start dancing with it? Yeah, oh, there, there, he there he is. There he is. <laughs> Joseph, it's always a good time for a dance. Oh, isn't it? I think you need a partner. Oh. There you go. Smooth as fuck. Fucking smooth as butter. <laughs> Have you been thinking about us? Yes, I have. Oh, it doesn't look positive. I feel like she's gonna break his heart. Seems that way. I see. If you'll excuse me. Joseph, Mia needs me now more than ever. It's the monarchy. I mean, you know how it is. Yeah, assistant. You were never just my queen. You were the someone I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I love how the assistant is like so invested in their relationship. I hope she's cool. She's been cool so far. I think she will be. If you prefer that I see you as my queen, I shall oblige. No, Joseph. Your majesty. Oh, oh Joseph. You deserve better. Hey, it's all right. He took his chance and she wasn't like bad about it. No, no, no. She's not a bad person about it or anything. She's just doing what she thinks is right. She's doing what she thinks she has to do. And maybe she's a little scared. Maybe. If you don't need anything else, we're going to supper. Uh, 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 what did we talk about? No more curtsy. We're going to supper. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Mia, look out your window. Prince Charming is throwing pebbles. Oh, isn't that nice? It just gets one right in her fucking eye. Just throws one straight through the window, shatters the glass. <laughs> yeah. Rapunzel with hair so fine. Come out your window, climb down the vine. Actually though. Okay. The feat you ask isn't easy. I won't respond to that line, it's far too cheesy. Nice. Oh wow. I, I like it. Freestyle. He wants me to climb down the vine. Do you want to? Yes. So go. It's a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. It kind of is. I like that she's learned. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do something impulsive for once in your life. Do you want a regular bachelorette party? Do you want to stroll in the moonlight with your almost Prince Charming? Uh, wow, I love that Lily's just being like, girl, you're not married yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys have got your eyes on the prize. That's uh, money well spent. Just had to show that they were incompetent. He had frosted tips. What did you expect? Oh, your majesty. Oh no, ladies, come in. I was just about to leave. My foot is stuck. She's gonna fall, he's gonna catch her. <laughs> oh. What was that? Oh, Frere Jacques. I guess. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Yeah, super. <laughs> Oh. oh no, falling all over you. What are the odds of that happening? I'm sorry, did I hurt you again? I'm used to it. See, I like that she was smart enough to know that it was gonna go wrong, and it did. Ding, dang, dong. Ding, dang, dong. That was weird. What a pity we missed it at the party. <laughs> yes. Diplomatic as ever. Mm -hmm. I'll cover for you. Go, Rapunzel, go. Mia, we love you, but you could literally never be Rapunzel. Hey, we've already got a Rapunzel, okay? Yeah, exactly. Tell me your greatest desires. Tell me a secret. Isn't that the same? Anyone can see your desires. No one knows what's in your heart. Tell me something. I Love I Love Lucy reruns. Sometimes I dream in black and white. Well, if she's been watching a lot of I Love Lucy reruns. Makes sense. Sometimes I put chocolate milk in my cereal. I am deathly afraid of the jellyfish. Let's get jellyfish are gross. Some of them are pretty dangerous too. I haven't danced with you since your birthday. It's not a secret. The secret is, is that I still want to. Hold up, you guys are telling secrets and one of your secrets was that you used chocolate milk for your cereal? I know, that's not a secret. That's just a fucking pro move. This is just a thing that should happen sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, I do that every time with my cereal. I put Milo in that shit all the time. To be fair, I have chalk powder and milk separately, but you know, it becomes chalk milk pretty quickly. Well, you know, he's wooing her. Yeah. I could definitely see the chemistry more in this one than in, say, Princess and the Frog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not fantastic. No. Nah. Could be better, but yeah, they definitely did better. Yeah, I feel like we could have definitely had a little bit more development of them getting here, but I don't mind too much. It's largely because they're such good actors. True story. Even though there's not a lot to work with, they're really selling the chemistry. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> We stayed out all night. <laughs> There's a man in that boat. Is he spying on you? What? Do you see that? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And that's 100% gonna be in the papers. Probably some fisherman, I suppose. Oh, he's probably some fisherman. He's not a guy with a camera. Yeah. Very obviously. With a video camera? Oh dear. What did you guys think was gonna happen? You're really low. No, Mia. Oh, she thinks that he's sabotaging her. Ah, uh, yeah, she does think that. You jerk! I have nothing to do with this, I swear. But you might wanna go, you know, deal with him. Nicholas, have a nice 
this life. I like that the misunderstanding is legitimate though. Like I can see how she would think that. Sure. And nothing he says in that moment would convince her otherwise, you know? Sure. And I know they'll deal with it later. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just hate when they have those like bullshit misunderstandings that it's like could be solved so easily with communication. Lily, what are you doing here? Mia. Whoops. Oops. Oh. Uh Oh, spaghetti -os. What's going on? I think you should see this. Whoops, indeed. News travels fast. Of course it does. The royal exclusive I promised. Genovia finally has a world-class scandal. Why are you happy about this? Because she's a reporter. This is her job. Being trash. Will Andrew Jacobi still marry such a naughty princess? Out of the frying pan and into the fire for Princess Mia. What the fuck? Keep your eggs, sunny cider. I'd like to tell her what she can do with her really? eggs. What's up with her and those eggs, eh? Hey? Like, she is really about those sunny side up eggs. I uh, guess that's her thing. Maybe that's her catchphrase. Lily's just like, oh, please, my show's better than yours. Fuck off. <laughs> Ugh, that'd be rough. Yeah. Still, she did kind of get herself into this one. I got played. You didn't get played. You just shouldn't have stayed out all night. Well, the big question is, do we still have a wedding? I think she was willing to deal with that, but being followed by the fucking press. Not part of the plan. No, I totally get it. I'm not saying that she shouldn't be upset. I'm saying she was... Careless. Careless, yeah. Reckless? I don't have a problem with her going out. It's the fact that she went out and lost track of time and fell asleep under a fucking tree. Like, you need to know better. You're a princess who's engaged to this other guy. Yeah, you gotta know how that looks. Like, I'm sure she did know how it looks, but it's like, yeah, you stayed out all night. You knew damn well you should have gone home under the cover of darkness. I guess she didn't have a... I was gonna say, I guess she could have set an alarm, but probably should have just gone home before it got too late. Yeah, go out, have a, an hour or two just hanging out, have your date, and then, then go, go back. back. Yes. <laughs> Don't just hang out under the tree. This is sneaking out 101. Yeah. And I'm so, so sorry. I promise you nothing happened. You still went. I'm an extremely eligible bachelor in England. I've got plenty of lovely women friends. Oh, buddy. I still think this marriage is a good idea. You do? Why? Uh, why? Yeah. No, no, no. Do, oh, no, 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 no. No, dude. Sorry. It's... No. Like, I know why you wanted to try this, but no. The queen would not approve of spying. Ah. That, uh... Well, now you know. Yeah. You know for sure, man. So? Anything? Oh, seriously? You don't know? Should have just cut your losses. No, there's just no spark. Yeah, he absolutely should have cut his losses. Me too. Really? Really. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. I mean, it was pleasurable. Very. But no fireworks. None. Okay, thank God. I'm stoked that we've come to this point. That's good. What are you gonna do? You'll figure something out. I was expecting a lot less self-awareness from this guy. Yeah, I was very worried for a minute there. He also kind of looks like an old man who's young. Yes, but that makes sense. He's British. True. <laughs> <laughs> No privacy. And like intensely British. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. The dude decided, oh, what should I wear with this brown outfit? I know, more brown. Yes, that'll work. True story. You chose me and I accepted. And a gentleman never backs out on his word. Tomorrow we'll be man and wife. You are going to make an amazing queen of Genovia. Sham wedding, sham wedding, sham wedding. I really appreciate this because from the start, they both felt like friends. Yeah, exactly. I didn't even feel the chemistry from him, like him being into her. She He's getting married today, Maurice. <laughs> Aww, what show? A strange woman came in and said that she wanted to hide in your closet, so I let her. What? What the fuck? That's interesting. That probably wasn't the wisest decision in the- Ah. Oh, okay. This is oh. what I call a closet. <laughs> a strange woman? That's just her mom. You couldn't have just said her mother? Oh, my oh. darling! <laughs> like, you don't know who her mother is? Like, what the hell? She's not important. She's not a royal. We're squashing Trevor. Hi. He is the most beautiful baby brother. Little potato person. We were joking. <laughs> we knew it was your mother. Oh. Okay. They're joking. Cool. I appreciate that we're just having some fun. So, oh my god. Yeah. Now I'm your mother. It's your wedding day. I have to say something. Being married is about being yourself. Only with someone else. Yes. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> it's a good point, but it's not really advice. Paolo Should needs I a think? back to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly. Oh, Paolo! <laughs> Yeah. Come va, stronzo? Principessa. Paolo. Mm. You remember my mother, Helen? And my new baby, Mon. I love that they brought Paolo back. All <laughs> Italian men love a baby, except the Paolo. You gotta get out now because we have to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. A wedding look for the bride. <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. Hell no. Nah. Why? Hell no. Her hair looks edible. All of the na nah available. I look like a moose. A very cute moose. Make all the boy moose go Wah. Fuck. I have antlers. <laughs> what the fuck? Go! What? Nah. Ah. Uh -huh. 
That one's better, but... Her hair still looks like food. Here we go again. <laughs> How many times can you do this to her? <laughs> this time... What the fuck? I think it would be better if I didn't go to the wedding. Don't give up so easily. Come to church, sweep her off her feet. The game is over, Uncle. Oh, well, this is a disaster in the making. Wouldn't miss a moment of it. I actually kind of respect that he's not trying to be too forceful and like, I don't know, just arrogant about it. I don't know, he seems kind of arrogant to me. Not the uncle, the kid. Oh, right, okay. But I just mean like, he's not coming in like, I'm gonna ruin their wedding or anything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's not doing the, I object. Yeah, which to be fair, he's probably going to now that we're talking about it. Oh, Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, the maid. But because she tells him what's up. Your uncle called Elsie and set you up with that video. Why doesn't that surprise me? He was much too delighted that you aren't going to that wedding. Yeah. But how? Everything on four wheels is already rented for the oh, wedding. It doesn't matter, I'll run. No, it's too far. Nope. Hang on. You'll take the bike. Yeah, there you go. Gretchen, what bike? We don't have a bike. Your grandfather's bike. The penny farthing? Oh my god, yes. The penny farthing. Oh my god. Yes. Go with God, son. Oh, do it. <laughs> okay, you know. You know what? If he's gonna break up the wedding on that penny farthing, I'm all about it. Wait a minute. I do better if you and I get married. Oh. Oh, that's Stan Lee. Yeah, it is. But you're not going to believe this. Look at this fucking legend. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. So may I borrow your horse? No. No. The penny farthing, dude. My bike is yours. No. no! Why? Why are you doing this to us? Okay, now I'm not hyped anymore. No, no, this is lame now. And fuck you and your horse. Turn it off. I don't like this movie anymore. Yeah, we're done with this movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> they ruined the best part. I can't believe they did it and then they didn't do it. What the hell? I wanted him to bust in through the doors on, on the, the penny, penny farthing. farthing. Yep. No explanation as to how he got up the stairs. 100. I'm a girl who loves black and is wearing pink. Ah, uh, but you look lovely. Andrew's little nephew, Viscount Ludlow, comes down the aisle as the royal ring bearer. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Joe. I just wanted to say before I do this, I'm sorry you're retiring. Who told you that? Maids know everything. Yeah, true story. Yeah, can't blame him. The heart does things for reasons that reason cannot understand. Man, he says so much with so little. I know, right? You should know that Nicholas did not set you up at the lake. Hey, head of security. The maids know everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What the fuck is going on? She can't do it. I'm going to need a minute or two. <laughs> Holy crap. You're not just gonna stand there, right? Thank you, your highness. Oh, he's super hyped. The bride is moving swiftly back up the aisle and out the door. Not the traditional route. No shit. Dude, did you seriously run out the front? Oh, uh, yeah. Very bad idea. You ran out the front. Come on, dude. There had to have been a side entrance. She doesn't always make the greatest decisions. No. I love the girl, but you know. Be seated. Just be a momentary interlude. I like that it's consistent. Yes, that is true. Having a full on panic attack. I'm so sorry, I just need a minute. No. I can do this. No. No, you cannot. Darling, I made my choice. Duty to my country. It's what I've always done, it seems. Still doing it. Yes. Now I've lost the only man I ever really loved. You haven't lost him, he's right behind you. I know, right? I'm with the Eagle and Sparrow. Hey. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Make your own mistakes. There'll be plenty of them. <laughs> you can go back into that church and get married, or you can walk away. Whatever choice you make, let it come from your heart. I like this. Yeah. I like this a lot. Princess is re-entering the church. She's walking down the aisle. I love that the choir is sped up. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone deserves the chance to find true love, right? Yes. Including us? Uh... Come on, buddy. Thank you. Oh, buddy. Oh. He's so relieved. Oh. <laughs> for uh, saving me from doing the proper thing for once in my life. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good man. Now all I have to do is tell mummy. I have to tell everyone else. Good luck. <laughs> I like that guy a lot. Yeah, Andrew's great. That dude's great, yeah. Welcome. I realized the only reason I was getting married... Oh, uh, yes. Another one of her famous speeches. ...was because of a law, and that didn't seem like a good enough reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, I won't be getting married today. Yeah. That's fair. Nice. <laughs> She's offended. Sit. Sit. There may be a dinner. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's on it. Mm -hmm. My grandmother has ruled without a man at her side for some time, and I think she rocks at it. 
this asshole. As the granddaughter of Clarice and Rupert. All right. Okay. I asked the members of Parliament to think about your daughters, sisters, and granddaughters. Yeah, I mean, they've been ignoring them for a long time. I don't know if they're going to start paying attention now. Yeah, they were there all along, dude. Yeah. Ask yourselves, would you force them to do what you're trying to make me do? It's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm related to women? Oh, that's fucked up. I understand Genovia combines the beauty of the past with all the best hope of the future. Not now. Shh. <laughs> I feel in my heart and soul that I love Genovia. Do you think that I would be up here in a wedding dress if I didn't? I mean, she says that, but she's bailing on the wedding. Well, <laughs> but she's, you know, taking responsibility. I stand here ready to take my place without a husband. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Every time this young lady opens her mouth, she demonstrates contempt for the customs of Genovia. I mean, but what if they're stupid customs? Yeah. An unmarried woman cannot be queen. But then again, are you gonna impose that on a man? They're not. Yeah. Fortunately, there is another heir. No, there is not. Hey. Nice try, asshole. I refuse to be king. It is Princess Mia who should have the crown. Noice. Hell yeah. Yeah. She's bright, she is caring, but more importantly, she has a vision. If the parliament were astute, they would name her queen. She'll lead us into the 21st century. That's a good argument. Yes. Besides, think how lovely she'll look on our postage stamp. That guy's sure. Lovely on a postage stamp! Oh, buddy. Do it look lovely on a postage stamp! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've lost. It's over, my guy. Oh, boy. Let it go. To Genovia! Go. Shut the doors. Quickly. Yes. Yeah. Good call. Make sure he doesn't get back in. Straight up. I cannot have you giving all this up just for a girl. Enough, uncle. We're finished. It's not just for a girl. That's the thing. Yeah. And that's why I like it. He's doing it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. He didn't do that with the expectation of like, oh, and now I'll get with her because I had like personal growth and stuff. Straight up. No, he just did it because that was what he should be doing. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Make a motion. Are you okay? Make a motion. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Yeah. I move to abolish the marriage law to present and future queens of Genovia. Will anyone second my motion? I love how the, the Prime Minister is always coming in to save the day. Keep eye contact, stare them down. <laughs> no, no, soften, soften. Good. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I love that she's still learning. Yeah. It's nice. It gives the other characters room to like, you know. I second the motion. Oh, wow. This, this guy. guy. It's time we had a new tradition. I like change. Oh. Gee, what? You like change? I may grow a mustache. You look marvelous with a mustache. Okay. All right. Fucking do it. Sure. Grow a mo, bro. <laughs> I don't really see where that came from, but sure. All those in favor say aye. 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 You're not in parliament. Sit down. Down. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Fucking that guy. The eyes have it. Congratulations. You rule. <laughs> well, I appreciate that the parliament actually does seem to be filled with some pretty good dudes, surprisingly. In the end, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a 180, but whatever, we'll allow it. True story. Lionel. Yeah, security guy. Cross the tips to me. Your majesty, the princess would like a word. Ah, that's hilarious. Through the thing. Grandma? <laughs> Just because I didn't get my fairy tale ending doesn't mean you shouldn't. Yeah. Go for it. Noise. Oh, uh, did you hear that? No. Not if you didn't want me to. Not at all. Damn, that's the correct answer. <laughs> <clears throat> well. I love how, once again, everybody is super wholesome and the only evil in this world is the press. Yeah. Joseph. Your Majesty. That Once again, they did a good job with all of the characters. Dear Joseph. I should clarify, not the press, because we do need, you know, news, but the paparazzi can fuck right off. Oh, we're talking about skeevy journalists to paparazzi, yeah. There's absolutely good journalism out there. Am I too late to ask you <laughs> to accept my hand in marriage? Oh, wow. Oh. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Well, yeah, you would have thought that. Shades. You're in charge now. Good luck with Lionel. Nice. I'm going to a wedding. <laughs> oh, now they're just gonna get married? That's right. I knew it. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh. I'm glad she's having fun. <laughs> Stuff it in there. I know it was short notice, but you were all dressed. This is true. Oh. Everyone was ready for a wedding, sir. So. Oh, I love this. 
Yeah, this is great. My Lord Archbishop, I would like to take this man as my husband, if you please. Finally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how everyone knew. Everyone knew. With this ring, I thee finally become king. Wed. Yeah. <laughs> I claim the throne. <laughs> I pronounce you man and wife. Oh, Joe. Take the throne. I mean, get married. <laughs> <laughs> Seize power. <laughs> You've been playing the long game this long. <laughs> no, I love this. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it, Katniss. I mean, Mia. <laughs> well, she's certainly been practicing long enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey. right, she got it. There you go. He's like, hey, that's my bang bang stick. <laughs> Busy workers are setting up for Genovia's grand day. Who let you in here? Yeah. What do you say, Fat Louie? Think I'll make a good queen? You know he thinks so. Indeed you will. Hey, one last shot. Jesus Christ, Wolf of Wall Street over here. Hmm, true story. If I may be so bold, I would like an audience with your highness. What is your dilemma? I like that at least a little bit of time passed. Yeah, I agree. It wasn't just on the same day. Yeah. You are, in fact. I'm in love with the queen to be, and I am inquiring if she loves me too. Eh, I, he's doing the whole royal thing, so I get it. Do you have a chicken for my table? <laughs> Kitchen is out of chickens. Oh. Well, you're gonna need to get a chicken. Yeah, bruh, come on. Didn't even bring a chicken? What is wrong with you? Who doesn't bring a chicken? Yeah, I didn't mind it. I thought I would hate their romantic relationship. Yeah. But I didn't mind it. Yeah, same. I thought it would be the worst part of the movie, but no, far from it. No, it's all right. He was a pretty decent dude. Yeah. I, yeah, no major issues. I thought that was cool. But doesn't compare even remotely to this guy. And you are right that Andrew and Elsa got together. Surprise. Yeah. What? <laughs> I heard you going back to Berkeley to finish up graduate school. Yeah, right, right. Oh. May I call you in California? Yeah, he's going for it. Yep. I think I can hear you without a phone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, very nice. You know what? I'm assuming this guy's like 25. He just looks kind of old. I hope so. Sparrow is taking off. The eagle is flying for the last time. I mean, she can go for an older guy if she wants to. Oh, sure. Ah, uh, this is the old coronation ceremony. Yes. That's cool. Passing the torch. Yeah. Now let's hope Mia doesn't use it to burn down everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's gonna trip. That's what I'm worried about. We're just standing by with the fire extinguishers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> like, I like these movies, but monarchies and... The church just always make me cringe. 100. Yeah. Absolutely. All of this pomp and circumstance. Yes. It's just, yeah. But at least at the center of it, there's Anne Hathaway. Yep. Will you solemnly promise to govern the people of Genovia? He just runs off with it. <laughs> It's my crown now. <laughs> Will you in your power cause law and justice executed in all judgments? I solemnly promise so to do. She had a backup crown. That's right. I love that. Oh my Lord. They're gonna make beautiful children. Mm-hmm. Gotta ask though, why does everybody's national anthem just suck so much? I don't know. I feel like it's a mandate. I've yet to hear one that is actually just a fucking bop. I know. Presenting Her Majesty, Queen of Genovia. There you go. That's cool. Gotta love it. It does make you wonder, because I've heard that there have been talks about doing a third Princess Diaries. Yeah. And it's like, but she's the queen now. Yeah, but it would be like years and years later. Maybe she'd have like a kid of her own. Oh, I mean, now we got a new princess, maybe? Yeah. Show her daughter or something? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, because otherwise it's just the Queen Diaries. And it looks like we're getting female parliament members. Oh, Charlotte. Is that Charlotte? Yeah. Damn. We're getting a few. That's good. Okay, okay. We love to see it. About fucking time. <laughs> Nice. The <laughs> kids got their castle. Yeah. You gotta love that. Oh, yes. Hey. <laughs> go, Maurice. <laughs> Uh, okay. That, that was, was good. great. Yeah. I liked that. Like, no, it was not as good as the first one, but I don't think it was much of a drop off. I was expecting much worse. Yeah, I was honestly expecting it to be kind of bad, but it was actually pretty solid. Yeah, same. I was expecting like the, oh, this is why they didn't make a third one, you know? Yeah. That kind of thing. No, but no. It's good. I had a good time with it. I enjoyed that. Like I said earlier, I think all of the characters, they managed to still hold up and be great. And there was consistency. I would have liked a little bit more from some of the previous characters like her mum and Lily, but I didn't 
in mind that they were, you know, not heavily featured. I assumed Chris Pine was going to suck more than he did, and he was actually great. For me, most of the stuff that I liked about the first one was also in this. Still present. So kind of minimal complaints. Yeah. Like I said before, the only thing that makes me prefer the first one to Mm. this is that it felt more grounded, you know? Well, I feel like the first one had more of an actual story, whereas this felt more just like revisiting the lives of... Um, Mia and her grandma and stuff. So yeah, that's fun. Very happy to be back with the Princess Diaries too. If they do a third one, we'll get to it. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, pretty stoked. Anyway, my phone's running out of battery. We got to wrap this up. All right, fair enough. Well, you know, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. But until next time, you've been with Sam, Steph, and we're, we're the Movie, movie Buds. buds.